This was the song that he requested uh, to be uh, brought in by. This is uh, the chairman for a few more days. I, I, have, I have some in demands, and this is one of them. Yeah, that's why like, I'm here. I mean, Derek Cheater had his own music. All the players go when they get up to bat, and you have yours when you're being introduced. And you would be dancing if you didn't have foot surgery a few weeks ago, right? I did have foot surgery, but I'm, I'm, they filleted me open, pulled out 14 screws I had in my foot, but oh. they, they put me back together. It's amazing. Phillips head? <laughs> yeah, actually, they, they they were, were, you get them at Home Depot. They're really they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about what happened on uh, what happened yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Theresa May says that's it. This has got to stop. She in in indicated that she thinks social media is the issue. There has to be some constraints. Is she right, wrong, or wrong, wrong tree? Look, the oversight committee, which I'm on, and, and by the way, our hearts go out to the people in, in London, and they were I mean, you just you just can't even imagine. But. Let's remember that over the last several years, in the Oversight Committee alone, of which I, ha I happen to have chaired, we have begged the administration to look at social media when people apply for visas. We mm -hmm. have begged them to look at federal employees. This is social media, and yet we've had a hesitancy as a federal government to even look at privacy. that material. Well, but but it's social. That's it, it's totally counter to privacy. You when you put it out there and you're going to get a visa, shouldn't you look at their sure. social media accounts before you decide whether or not pers that person can come to the United States? Absolutely. And we had Sebastian Gorka on about an hour ago, and he said this administration is now. Essentially, yeah. super vetting people who are coming into the country because of just that. He said the San Bernardino people, the last administration, would not look at social media. Look, the Obama administration for eight years was just saying, look, we got to be nicer, we got to be softer. Uh, remember, this is the administration that said, uh, the Obama administration said this is the JV team. There's mm -hmm. basically nothing to worry about. The Obama administration was trying to give Libyans visas to come to the United States to study nuclear sciences and aviation. What could and go we had wrong? to fight that back. And, yeah. and so the, the, the attitude, the shift within our federal government, I think America gets it. That's why Donald Trump is the president of the United States. That's that was a main driving yeah, he's, thing. He's saying the heck with political correctness. So what is Congress doing to annihilate ISIS like he wants to do? Well, look, I, I, I'm proud of the fact that we did plus up the military, homeland security, billions of dollars in addition to what had been there in the past. The Obama administration has got a major shift that they've got to have, an attitude adjustment within the bowels of those organizations. But I also think that the major problem right now is in the judicial branch because Congress has clearly given the president, he not only has constitutional authority, but the president has statutory uh, authority in order to make sure that the people that come to this country are properly vetted. And so it's very frustrating to look over to the judicial branch, a handful right. of people who are hold them back. Sure. Remember <laughs> James Comey said there was investigations in all 50 states when he was yeah. remember when he was just FBI director and wasn't yeah. a politician or a prosecutor right. and he said that it bothers him. We had the uh, the said Secretary of Homeland Security say if you know what I knew you wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Yeah. And then we see what happened in London. Why haven't there been more attacks here? Well, there is a lot of good work that our intelligence community, Homeland Security, and others do, and our local law enforcement. I think part of the role of Congress is to make sure that they're connecting those dots. What we found, for instance, in Boston is that the federal government had a lot of information, but they didn't share it with the local cops. And a lot of times it's going to be Boston and New York and Philly and L.A. It's going to be those law enforcement agencies that actually have the boots on the ground that can go into those communities and look at them. And, and, and we also need the communities yeah. to step Has up. Has that changed? That's pretty scary that they weren't working together. Well, we hope so. I mean, I, you know, it's very difficult. There are lots of lots of issues out there, and there are literally tens of thousands of people that they're watching to one degree or another. That was the situation mm -hmm. in, in the UK, and so you hope they are. But you got to give them the tools and the resources. Am I right? You talked to James Comey since he was fired. Uh, I did. I did have a conversation with him. I encouraged him to come uh, testify before the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He's taking. I, I think the path of least resistance going to Senate Intel. I hope they pepper him with some very tough questions. What do you think Absolutely. it'll be like? It's hard to do this hearing without seeing the documents. And so there's this new question now with Mueller in, in, involved. Is the Department of Justice actually going to share those documents? Yeah. But you have, you have uh, former Director Comey and his, the, the acting director both have said there have been no impediments, no political influence. So it's pretty hard 
for them to come back now and say, well, there was political influence by the president when they previously testified under oath saying that sure. there had Did been. Did Comey admit to you that he does have those notes? He takes those memos or those notes? No, out I asked him very specifically. I said, where are those notes? Are they at the Department of Justice? Or are they at your home? And he said he would not comment on that. He wouldn't say was he had them or didn't have them. He, didn't he would not them. talk about it at all. All right. Uh, you are leaving your chairmanship at House Oversight, leaving the House of uh, yeah. the People. At the end of the month, do you have a job yet? Are you are you on Monster.com uh, all day I'm, long? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Julie's afraid my wife, who's standing right over there, she she's worried that I'm going to be home fixing right. things. That's all right. Right. Stay uh, off my, the ladder. Uh, yeah. On my radio show, we have Zip Recruiter, so I think you should try okay. that. Okay. All right. Right. Fair enough. That's all right. why they say Thanks. you can't Thanks, retire because you. then you're home together. Yeah, you're yeah. used to being apart. All right. all right. We wish you all the best. Thank Good you. luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Time now for some news, Jillian. You can use LinkedIn as well. Well, so, yeah, any yeah, of the above. Yeah,